Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back again today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Found some interesting things, I think, so I'm gonna go ahead and share. They had more of the AHA brand. These are the sparkling waters, and this one is caffeinated. You can see where it's written right across the front where it says caffeinated. This one is not. It doesn't have that across there. And this one is in the flavor, what is it? Fuji Apple White Tea. Naturally flavored in other natural flavors, sparkling water with caffeine. And it is a 16 fluid ounce can. What is the 40 on there? It has 40 milligrams mg, I think that's for milligrams, of added caffeine. And it says no sweeteners, no sodium. So I'm kind of curious. I don't know if 40 mgs, is that a lot of caffeine? I don't know. But this one is sparkling water in lime watermelon, naturally flavored and other natural flavors, 16 fluid ounce. And this one does not have caffeine in it. This lime watermelon sounds really good. And let me see, Best Buy is November of 22 and March March of 23, November of 22. So me and hubby will give those a try here one day. It's been super hot here in, in Pennsylvania as a whole. So I think these would be really nice and refreshing. He and I actually do really like sparkling water. Some people love it, some people will despise it, but we love it. So we're gonna give those a try. If you guys have tried these, let me know what your thoughts are. And I do believe these are a lot more pricey elsewhere. So I thought for $1.25, why not pick them up just to give them a try? So just grab one of each of those. And another food item, we picked up some of the Breckenridge Farms, the kosher sandwich slices. We like these a lot. We like their pickles from there. I think I've only had one jar a while back that they were the kosher baby dills that were kind of soft. But other than that, we have never had a problem with their pickles at all. We like them a whole lot. And this is a 17 fluid ounce or one pint, one fluid ounce jar, refrigerate after opening, gluten-free. And these are the pickle slices. I hope you can see them in there. We just, we love them. Throw them in a sandwich, eat them just like this, whatever. They're very, very good. So grab the jar of those. And then I believe one more food item, and this is by the company Augustino's, and these are the mini snack bites, tomato and oregano. That just sounded so good. And how many ounces are these? This is a 2.82 ounce bag, and the Best Buy is April of 23. And they are a product of Spain. So I thought those looked really good. They look like look like little um almost cheesy. So let's go ahead and open it. If I can get it open quickly. Let me see what they look like for you. Oh, they're little squares. You ready to hear me chew? Mmm. Mm, guys, those are good. I'm so sorry. I should have just taken half of it. Mm-hmm. Those are delicious. This is my kind of snack right here. I love, it's almost like a cracker, softer crouton if that makes sense, those are good. And they would be very, very good, kind of broken up a little bit and put on top of a salad. Oh, that's that's delicious. I have no idea if there were other flavors in this or not. These are the only ones we saw, but oh, that's excellent. I may be putting those on a salad here later today. Mm, yum, that's good. And again, they were the Aug Augustinos, the mini snack bites in tomato and oregano. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. 
that's it for the food, I believe. Picked up a thing of baggies just to have on hand. No real reason for it. They had a whole whole bunch of them, so I grabbed it when I saw it. These are the quart size by the Surefresh brand, and you get 20 bags in here because it doesn't have the slider. I just needed to kind of restock, so went ahead and grabbed, grabbed those. I'm gonna throw it down here on the floor. I also was out of paper towels. I haven't bought paper towels in quite a while and saw them, and I don't know why, but our, the paper towels, I can't remember what store I got these in, their paper towel section was wiped out. There was barely anything at all in the paper towels. So I did see a roll of these and I went ahead and grabbed them. And these are the um, the custom size, it has the smaller sheets. And usually one of those little strips is enough for me. So I just grabbed one and it's 140 sheets in here and they just work well. We pick these up all the time. I don't have a problem with them at all. And let me see, another just random thing that I needed to pick up. When the grandkids were all around, we went through a ton of paper plates. And I try to pick up the paper plates now instead of the styrofoam and grab these when we don't use real dishes. These, you know, these are just quick and easy. And, you know, if they just want to slice a pizza or just, you know, whatever, we just grab a paper plate or a quick sandwich for lunch. They work well. And you get 40 in here and they're nine inches. Are these the sturdiest plates in the world? No, but no paper plate is. So we just use those. And they also have, I'm not sure if they're still in the stores now since they brought out all the back to school, but they have the, um, they're the little plastic trays, I guess you would call it, that you could put your paper plate in. They're like a paper plate holder. We have those as well, but we never use them. We just use a regular paper plate. They work great. Let's see. <coughs> I'm sorry. Hubby grabbed these for the littlest grand lady, and I'm just afraid they're not going to fit her head anymore. But these are by Baby of Mine, I think. They're just called Baby. Baby, and these are the head wraps. And they are made for Green Briar. Are these made in the USA? Oh, no, they're made in, or made in China. But these are just the little head headbands. And this one, they're just so pretty, especially this gray. I don't know if you can see that, but the band part itself, it's kind of like a light glitter, just a pretty, pretty bows on both of them. So he grabbed one of the pink and one of the gray. See how long she'll actually let these on her head. And then these ones, I just think are gonna be way, way too small for her. They are also called head wraps. And you get, this is a two pack. You get a pink one and a white one in there. So he just grabbed one of each of those for her to give him a try. She was here just the other day and she's so cute. I watched her while hubby was at work and while our youngest granddaughter, or our youngest daughter was at work. And when we'd go outside, she knows that I always keep my sunglasses on a little table in the back room. And I had bought her way back, me and hubby, a little sun bonnet with little sunglasses and they were sitting on our dining room table. She had to put on her little Dollar Tree hat and sunglasses before we went outside. She just, that's the first time she's ever done that. She kept pointing and, you know, wanting the hat and the sunglasses on the table. So she put them on. We went outside and when she came in, she folded up her little sunglasses, put them inside the hat, and put the hat on the little table in the back room where I keep my sunglasses. So adorable. But guess we're gonna try these on her whenever she comes around the next time. She's a little Dollar Tree queen too. She likes all of her Dollar Tree things. So let me see, I picked up some more tools for in that toolbox I was talking about. I think it was in my last, last video. I'm making a toolbox, me and hubby, as a gift for someone for Christmas. So every time I go, I'm gonna try to grab a few things to put in the toolbox. So hubby grabbed these. It's seven pieces and it's the hex key set. And it shows you all the sizes that it has. These are just so nice to have because it seems like everything nowadays is made with you know, this type of thing. Instead of an actual screwdriver, it takes the hex keys. And on that same note, we got this little folding hex key contraption. This is by the Toolbench brand. And it also shows you on there what, what all comes in it. 
And these ones just kind of fold out and then fold back in for easy storage. I actually have two of these for us here at the house. I, I love it. You just never know when you're going to need them. So grabbed one of each of those and all the different sizes. That's going to go in the toolbox. Everybody needs a utility knife every now and again. And this is also by Toolbench and it says two extra blades. And it's just the, you know, the actual utility knife with sort of the razor blade. And so we grabbed one of those to throw in there. You just never know when you're gonna need something like that. Got this little um, hardware storage case by Toolbox. And it has the flip top lid with all the little compartments and these are not, you can't move these in any way. This is already pre-made. But I thought this would be great to put nails, tacks, whatever it may be in here, screws, all the little things that end up going in a junk drawer and just making a big mess. I thought that would be great to put that kind of stuff in and grab one of those. I still wanna get a pack of their nails. I wanna get one of the, the sink snakes to clean out your drain with and, all that kind of stuff I'm still on the lookout for. But we found one of these. It is a 16 foot magnetic tape measure. Everybody needs a tape measure now and again. Just tape measure, 16 foot. It does have the lock on it so that you can, when you pull your tape measure out, is that one it or is this one it? I'm not gonna be able to do it. I guess this may be it. Yes, this is it. I'm not sure what this orange button is. Let me read that on there. It says stopper button one, stopper button two. So there's all kind of stopper buttons. There's all kind of stopper buttons on here. There's that stopper. You have this one under here. So if you want to stop your stop your tape measure, you have three options on here. And it also has the little hang hang cord and it does have a clip on the back if you would want to put it on your belt but went ahead and grabbed one of those for in the toolbox and then everybody needs wood glue every now and again and this is the actual super glue the original super glue brand and two fluid outs just grabbed one of those to put in there and we also grabbed a thing of goo gone because you know how it is when you're moving into a new place you're buying so many things that have stickers and labels and things attached to them. So you never know when you're gonna need some goo gone. So we grabbed one of each of those to throw in there. I may need to get a bigger toolbox by the time I'm done. But grab a thing of each of those. And I think that's it for this haul for the stuff for in the toolbox. Hubby needed some razors, which I use these too. You guys all know if you've been here long enough, these are my favorite ra razors to use on myself. I like the Barbasol brand. You get four disposable razors in here, and these are the classic two blade. These work the best for me. I have trouble with razors, just ripping, shredding my legs, and these work the best. And I figured way back, if these work good for a man's face, they have to work good on my legs, and they do. So I use them as well. So we picked up a thing of those. It seems like it's been a while since I've bought razors. Hubby needed a thing of his toothpaste. This is his favorite. He likes the Crest, and this is the baking soda and peroxide whitening in the fresh mint. It's a 2.4 ounce tube of toothpaste. He grabbed one of those. He likes this a lot. And then I think this is it, guys. This is stronger than dirt. This is the Ajax cleaner. It is the citrus and eucalyptus scent. I thought that sounded pretty interesting. I love citrus. You guys all know that. This is a multi-purpose cleaner and it is a 16.9 fluid ounce or 1.05 pints. It says powerful cleaning, great value, satisfaction guaranteed. And it says for floors, mix one quarter cup in a gallon. For bathrooms and walls, you can use just straight on a sponge and clean. No visible residue, no need to rinse which I love that. I have, I picked up a little while back, probably two months or so ago. It is the Ajax brand, but it's a very, um, you can't see through it like a blue color. I love that, absolutely love it. I've been using it in the bathrooms. I've been using it to scrub floors. It works so well in my bathtub. 
I just use it straight on a rag. I wipe down like where all this soap scum would be in the bathtub. Let it set while I'm cleaning the rest of the bathroom and then just come back in warm water, wipe it out. It works so well. So I thought I would pick up this scent to try. And this one's a very clear, pretty green color. I'm gonna go ahead and smell it. I wanna see if there's a seal on it. Oh, there is no seal. Oh, that's interesting. That's nice, that's very different. You can definitely smell both. You can smell the citrus and you can smell the eucalyptus. That'll be so nice to clean with, that scent. So I just grabbed one of those to give it a try and see if this this style, whatever you wanna call it, this formulation works as good as the blue one does. So grab that to use up. So anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm gonna go and get this stuff put away. If you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.